It's 8 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. A new fertility breakthrough could take some of the guesswork out of the stressful process of trying to have a baby. New technology now allows doctors to scan embryos to find the strongest ones, the ones most likely to result in a pregnancy. The fear of in vitro fertilization not working is typically what leads women to implant multiple embryos, and that raises, of course, the risk of multiple births. Well, these new tests could give women who are struggling with infertility the best shot yet yet of having a baby and joining us this morning to talk more about this breakthrough is Dr. Mark Charles. He is the director of fertility care. Great to see you as always. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure, Amy. Anytime. So what are your thoughts on this? This is really exciting. You know, when a couple does an IVF cycle, the biggest challenge is to know which is the best embryo to transfer. And up until recently, the way we were determining which is the best embryo is by looking at it. Right. And you can't judge a book like by its cover. So what this type of testing, this new wave of testing is doing, is it actually allows us to analyze the cells surrounding the embryo and do a complete genetic analysis, which is called the karyotype. And when we get this information back, we know that embryo is genetically normal, so we can then transfer a genetically normal embryo and only transfer one. This reduces the risk of multiples, mm -hmm. and also, particularly for women above age 35, reduces the risk of Down syndrome and other genetic issues. Wow, talk to me about how quickly you think this technology will come to market, that doctors will be able to use it. Are they already using it? The genetic testing with embryo biopsy, mm -hmm. we've been doing for the last several years. Now, about 10 years ago, a, uh, a, a, a limited form of this uh, biopsy was, was available. But now, the latest uh, genetic testing allows for complete chromosome analysis, and we've been doing this for the last several years. Now, it involves sort of a two-step process. Once you get the uh, embryo uh, cells, we send it off to a specialized laboratory and then we freeze the embryos because we don't get the information back in time to transfer the embryos. So then we just do it in the subsequent frozen embryo replacement cycle. You guys are able to do some amazing things. It's tell me a little bit about some of the other options that mothers now have that they maybe wouldn't have had five, 10 years ago. Well, in addition to this chromosome testing, and, and I wanna emphasize the fact that in women above 35 who are worried about the risk of, of chromosome abnormalities like Down syndrome, this allows the analysis before the embryo gets transferred. So instead of being diagnosed during your pregnancy and that having that kind of tragedy, this is before the embryo gets transferred. Another tool that's being used now is called time-lapse photography. It takes snapshots of the embryos every five minutes while they're in the incubator and the embryos that are developing the best seem to be the ones that are continuing to develop in the laboratory and that seems to be improving pregnancy rates although that's not as clinically proven to improve pregnancy rates as the embryo testing by biopsy. How accurate is this embryo testing? Less than 1% error. Wow. This is very, very good testing. Now, there becomes a price tag, though. You are going to increase the cost of an IVF cycle. Uh, so uh, what it's doing, though, is allowing for lesser embryos to transfer, right. reducing the risk of multiples, and increasing the efficiency of every transfer because you know which are the best embryos. Now, of course, the chromosome testing, the genetic testing, is not the only reason that an embryo will implant. The embryo needs to talk to the uterus and have the right protein expression and development, but this significantly is improving the live birth rate. You brought up the fact that it is more costly. How much are we talking about? Around the country, it's about $5,500. Okay. In addition to the basic IVF cycle, a basic IVF cycle in the region is a little under $10,000. Okay. Plus medications at a pharmacy, and now if we add this on, the price tag can go up. Okay. But for patients, uh, and it's also actually you can determine the gender. Uh, so patients have been coming to us from all over the world for family balancing. If they have three boys and they're looking for a daughter or vice versa, this testing allows for complete chromosome analysis plus gender. Wow, it truly is fascinating. Dr. Charles, your website so people can get in touch with you. Uh, MyFertilityCare.com, but you know there's an event next week. Right, yeah. yes. This is a free fertility event that's being sponsored by Vivera Health and it's at the Mez on July 24th. It's all about protecting your fertility, learning how to optimize your reproductive capabilities, and I'll be speaking at that. All right, July 24th at the Mez. Thank you so much, Dr. Charles. Always a pleasure. My we pleasure. really appreciate your time. John, I'll send it back to you.